Shalom, everyone. This is Amir Tsalfati. I'm live from Irvine, California. I'm on my way in just about 45 minutes to um, Chino Hills for the Futures Conference. Today or this evening, Charlie Kirk will start, and then tomorrow I'll be speaking there in the afternoon. But listen, breaking news, big, big, big news. And if you're not on Telegram, you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. If you are on Telegram, you better check it right now because tons of stuff has happened since the morning hours. Um, and what you just saw is Vladimir Putin entering the big hole in the Kremlin to give a speech that is a landmark in the future of this planet, of all of us, because of his declaration of intentions. So before I go there, um, and I'll talk about the threat of a an imminent nuclear uh, war. And I'll, I'll tell you what, in the last few hours, Israeli intelligence uh, uh, picked up from, um, uh, from a, in a Russian base um, in regards to nuclear bombers. So listen, let's start with a prayer, okay, and then jump into this. This is super important. And please share it with as many as you can, okay? Father, I thank you that in you, we know we have security, stability, peace, and hope and encouragement. Without you, in this world, we are lost. It, there's so much tribute and wars and rumors of wars, pestilences. There's so many things that are going on. But you, Jesus, told us not to worry, not to be concerned. These things must happen. But the end is not yet there. Lord, we thank you that we can word and we can look into world events. We can connect the dots, draw much encouragement, but at the same time, be on the edge of our seat to see your next move. We thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, shalom, everyone. This is Amir Tzalfati. These are breaking news from um what's going on in russia and listen to me folks it is important um I, I i honestly i don't know where to start from because it all goes back to two weeks ago when me and pastor barry stagner gave a special update where i gave you on camera live a detailed uh outline of the philosophy of vladimir putin's uh, main uh leader or I mean spiritual leader Vladimir Dugin and uh, Vladimir excuse me Alexander Dugin and Alexander Dugin literally what I said two weeks ago from Fort Worth about his his philosophy a few hours ago Vladimir Putin said these things word by word it's amazing now, let me explain. In the last few days, there was a referendum. Are we not with the sound? Um, the last few years, are we with sound? Is there sound? There is sound. Okay. In the last few days, there was a referendum going on in um, four Ukrainian provinces, in Donetsk, in Lugansk, in Kherson, and in Zapor Zaporzhia. And, uh, and the four of them, just so you know, um, the majority of the, the, the pro-Ukrainian uh, people fled already, and whoever is was left there were people that were actually forced to vote yay for an annexation to motherland Russia. And a couple of days ago, I reported to you of the uh, the actual results of the referendum. If you remember, over eighty nine percent, between eighty nine to ninety five percent approved to be annexed to Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, today in a big ceremony, you just saw a video of Putin walking inside. Today in a very big ceremony, Vladimir Putin gets into uh, the hall, gets on the stage, and, and he said something that is quite remarkable. Now, a lot of Christians are falling for the deception that is going on here because he is... He's saying the right things. He is against the progressive mindset of the West. He is against 
the uh, liberal mindset of the West. He is against a lot of the things that all of us as Christians are against, which is wonderful. But what you tend to forget is that a couple hours before the speech, he ordered the attack on a Ukrainian convoy that killed 24 civilians within three seconds. All of them were butchered. You're talking about someone who is not exactly a role model for any Christian. So, you know, we can say the right things, but if we do the wrong things, we do the wrong things, but we're not to be followed by anyone. So Putin understands that the way to get to the conservative part of the Western world is to say the right words, to come against, you know, fluidity in sexual orientation, to come against the change in uh, the family structure. He's against parent one and parent two. He comes against um, a surveillance in, in society, he comes against the what he call uh, he, he he calls it actually col colonization of, of of the rest of the world by the West. You know, he says a lot of things, and I'm going to tell you a few things that he said. But I want you to know, Christians, from some strange reason, which I'm not, I don't know, fall in the trap of that deception. You see, the enemy, Satan, is very smart in deceiving people not only one way; he is actually deceiving in two ways. To these people who are selling this lie and to the other people who are selling that lie. And no wonder why we are told to judge the tree by its fruits. Uh, you know, people can say great things, but if they do the opposite, let's say there is a serial killer and he's, he's you know, he's saying, hey, uh, I'm a, you know, a conservative Christian. And on the way to the meeting with you, he killed 10. And on the way out of your meeting with you, is killing another 10. Well, he can have maybe conservative views, but he's definitely not someone you want to align with. And this is exactly the situation here. I am not pro-Ukrainian uh, 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 Ukrainian mindset or Western mindset or or Western values, progressive liberal values. No, no, no. It's It's not even about that. But I identify the fact that there is double deception here. You know, the, the West is deceived by the fact that they think that uh, gender has fluidity and family can be determined by same-sex marriage as well. And, and uh, you know, uh, it's the climate change is the biggest problem and the government can reach out and take your liberty. All of these things I'm certainly against. But at the same time, I cannot be lectured by someone who is killing innocent civilians on not on a daily basis but on an hourly basis now let me let me explain to you what vladimir putin did and what he said but before that i will tell you this israeli satellite company intelligence company has detected and all of that is on telegram i have the photos the maps the videos if you're not on telegram get it Get it now or else you're not informed. And we're not informed nowadays is disinformed, misinformed, because all the mainstream media will feed you lies or won't tell you anything about what's going on. Well, an Israeli intelligence company has detected an irregular presence of Russian Tupolev 160 and Tupolev 95. These are strategic nuclear bombers. Um, and they're stationed at the Olenia Air Base. The base is located on the Kolsky Peninsula that houses a significant amount of military equipment, tactical and strategic nuclear weapon. You're probably asking me, why are you telling us that? Well, hours earlier, Vladimir Putin said the following thing. In his speech, he says, the USA was the first to use nuclear weapons against Hiroshima and Nagasaki and thus set a precedent. Note the use of the word precedent as if it's an excuse for Russian use of nuclear weapons today. But he said many more things. He said many, many more things. And uh, allow me to, to uh, tell you that in, in the backdrop of all of this speech, besides the annexation of these territories, and by the way, on Telegram, I put the map of the annexed, provinces to Russia right now. But the, in the backdrop, there is a great battle that is going on right now. Before I went to sleep last night, 
I knew it's going to get ugly because the Ukrainian military managed to encircle and surround the Russian troops in the city of Liman in the Donbass area in eastern Ukraine. Now, Donbass is, is Putin's crown jewel. He, this is the first area he wanted to take over and, of course, annex. And now the Ukrainians are having a major victory in the area Putin claims to be his. Hundreds of, I have, uh, it, it says on the 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 uh, headline says, Russian correspondents are saying thousands of Russian troops are about to get trapped in eastern Ukraine. There's a battle going on right now. Thousands of Russian troops are surrounded by Ukrainian forces. We are talking about battalions and divisions that are, uh, right now battling over there, it is ugly, it is destructive, and if Putin is going to lose in that battle, not only that it's a very humiliating defeat for him, especially in light of the annexation, but it will be such a big blow to the morale of the soldiers on the ground. But A, they will feel like their government just abandoned them. B, they will understand that there is no way they can get out of it alive. And ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly why Putin was using these words. Now, let me tell you, Lehman, if Lehman, is, which is not a big city, it's con considered a medium to smaller city, but it's a key city because if that one falls, then Russia is officially defeated in the Donbass region. All the advance of the Russians in the last few months will be wiped out within one day. Thousands of Russian soldiers are going to be slaughtered by Ukrainians who are justifiably or rightfully, you know, trying to kill them because they are trying to kill them also. I mean, it's a war. Now watch this. If that happens, I'm not sure if Putin will allow that to happen. And I'm sure that the speech that he gave kind of paved the way for him to say, if needed, just like America did in 1945, if needed, I'm going to use nuclear weapon and it will not be lectured by America, but used itself nuclear weapon in a war that is not even on its own uh, soil. Now, this speech was quite amazing because it was like a defiance not only to the west and the western values just like he said i don't want a parent one and parent two vladimir putin few hours ago declared war on the world order that exists he announced a new world order thus had begun he said china is on my side North Korea is on my side. If I want, many of the Muslim with Islamic countries, including Turkey, um, will be on my side. India is on my side and many other forces. It was a very, very aggressive speech. And it's a speech where he's looking at the future. It's not a speech of, oh, that's it. I'm gone. I'm done. It's a future and he said something that should worry all people who think that the war in Ukraine is going to finish very soon. No, no. He said, actually, Ukraine is not even the end of this war. It's the beginning of this war. It's the beginning of an irreversible process to create a new world order. How many times have you heard the term new world order and you were always thinking about, you know, the Antichrist system and... The, uh, you know, the Great Reset and all of that. But someone is actually right now fighting for a new world order, regardless of the globalist system. In fact, someone is fighting globalism with the term new world order. And look what he said, okay? He said, after the dissemination of the, the, the Soviet Union, the world wanted to bring Russia apart, to make it fall apart. Not just Russia. The land, its language, and its values, he said, but it did not succeed. It wanted, the world wanted to wipe out the spiritual strength of the Russian people, the, the resilience of the Russian people. 
Then he moved on and he said, all the promises that NATO gave us that it will not expand to the east were violated, he said. We've warned you over and over, again and again, but the West was determined and is determined to bring Russia down. That's what he said. Then he said, the West was surprised with this war because the Western world did not understand the spirit of the Russian people. We will defend our land. We will use all the forces we have and all the possible means, he said, against the West. The, then he said, the West will do all it can do to preserve the colonial uh, system that it created in the world. He said, America is the first country to use nuclear war, nuclear weapon twice, he said. America is used to take everything with extortion. They are printing dollars and euros, but you cannot feed people with paper bills. That's what Putin is saying. Putin is is literally talking to the conservative base in America, to conservatives in Europe. He's basically telling all of them, look, you need to be on my side. I'm fighting your fight. Now watch it. He says, the citizens of the four provinces in Ukraine chose to come back to their own land, Russia, and you have to respect that, he said. From now on, they are Russian citizens, and their destiny is our common destiny, he said. Listen, if that's not enough, he said, the beginning of the cancellation of Western domination and hegemony is irreversible. Putin is basically saying, guys, this is just the beginning. He says, the world that the Western west created is not democratic it is just a an illusion and it's hypo, hypocrite and it's it, and it's hypocritical then he said now look at what he's he's very smart he's now turning to the europeans and he says america is leading europe to the destruction and the uh, um collapse of the european industries and basically he it it is bringing down the pan-European system. He's trying to put a, a kind of a, a like a, uh, something between, uh, how do you say, to, to put uh, some uh, wedge between? Put a wedge between two. Put a wedge between America and Europe. Very smart. And then he said, he's, 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 this is not like this is the end. He said, basically, I'm ready for a greater war. And he then signed the paper. Folks, um, this, this is quite phenomenal what, what Putin basically said. And I'm telling you, this is the beginning. He, he is not ruling out use of weapon, of nuclear weapon. Israel detected already movement of nuclear bombers in Russia. And stuff is um, going to get ugly uh, in the coming days and weeks. Now, why am I saying all of this? By the way, not to scare any one of you. This is the situation on the ground. This is not to scare you. That was his speech. And that is the situation in Ukraine. And that is the situation also in the different parts around it. Putin also said, we, we, uh, we, we, we know who bombed the Nord Stream pipe. Uh, and uh, we know who is benefiting from it the most. He's basically saying, look, I am having a moral, legal, and political justification to do what I'm about to do. Now, I'm not sure if he's pointing his finger at America, or maybe at Israel, we don't know. But I do know one thing. I know that he's already calculating his next step. You know, uh, the Bible says it's very interesting. You know, I quoted that on um, on um, Telegram. And again, I, I cannot stress it enough. If you don't have Telegram, get it. I'm putting videos. And by the way, I don't know if I, if you saw it, but it's a terrible attack happened you know, a couple hours before the speech. 
and uh, I did not share with you the footage of uh, of the dead civilians in Zaporizhia, uh, but it was terrible carnage that I've not seen for a long time. But I will share with you um, the biblical um, portion that it's important to know. Okay, so the Bible says in Ezekiel thirty eight verse three. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, God is saying, Behold, I am against you, O Gog. Gog is the title of the leader. The leader of who? The prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tuval. This is basically a biblical description of Russia. God says, I am against you. And then comes the Ezekiel war, and God is going to defeat them himself. God is against you. And so God is not buying all of this moral uh, uh, lecturing of Putin. He said, by the way, make no mistake, I agree with the very, very disturbed, um, progressive, liberal mindset of the West. Everything is said about how the West is completely corrupt and, 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 and uh, um, I guess, uh, um, rot. And, 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 you know, really causing everybody to go the wrong way. I agree with that. But what I don't agree is that some Christians think that Putin is the savior of, of this world now. And he is the good guy in this whole picture. Putin is reading from a piece of paper that was written to him by Alexander Dugin. And Alexander Dugin is a smart man who understands how to get to the hearts of the religious people around the world those that are holding religious values he knows that he understands that he says look we islam and and hinduism and buddhism and christianity and judaism we all share the same you know uh, uh values of family and mother and father and we all share the same thing about, uh, you know, value of life and all that. He's talking about value of life while he's butchering hundreds of people every day. So I need you to understand that the enemy is very, very smart. Okay. The enemy is speaking through someone whom God says, I'm against you. So don't fall into that trap of thinking that there's the good guys and the bad guys here. No. Somebody woke up one day and decided that it's his time to invade into a sovereign country and to annex 20% of its territory to himself overnight. That's what really happened. Now, there's much more that I could share with you, but I don't want to make this update too, too long. But I do want you to know nuclear war has never been so close than now. He puts it on the table, Putin. He said, look, don't lecture to me. America used it first. America sets the precedent. I can do it, and I will use all the means within my disposal to push forward the battle for a new world order. Very interesting days are ahead of us. Uh, and I want you to know that the Bible is very clear about against whom God is here. But I also want you to know, folks, that the only way, the only way you can understand world events today is if you go back to the scriptures. And um, I will conclude with this. You know, I, uh, I wrote today a short commentary and I would like to read, and it's also on Telegram. I would like to read that to you. For the Antichrist to rise, Europe and the Middle East must go through a terrible war because he's, remember, he's the one who brings peace. I believe that also America and China and others will go through a terrible financial downfall that will render them powerless, which is at the horizon. Everybody agree. And then thus, uh, that's basically how the world will not only beg for him to rise, but worship him as well when he delivers them from a war and financial distress. I see that day approaching rapidly. And the answer isn't by buying gold or stacking food. The answer is turning to the one and only true deliverer. 
that can give you even in the midst of all of this craziness, the peace that surpasses all understanding, the joy of your salvation and the security of your eternal life with him. And remember, folks, before the evil one will rise and get into power, the saints will be taken out of the way. And I want to remember, remind you, 2 Corinthians 6 to behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So let's uh, remember that, folks. And I'm, I'm on my way to Chino Hills for the conference. Log online for um, Calvary Chapel Chino Hills uh, YouTube and Facebook for the conference itself. But I want to tell you, folks, we're expecting a full house. It's going to be a wonderful time of fellowship and teaching of the word. But listen, stay tuned. Get Telegram. Follow me on my channel. I, I've got about 311,000 subscribers there. Don't follow other fake channels using my name. Again, look for the channel that has 311,000 uh, subscribers and just click there and follow. And I'll keep you posted. Tons of stuff is about to unfold in the next few days, and I want you to stay posted. Hey, thank you. God bless you. And uh, do we have the, yeah, let me put a video of how you can download. Well, we don't have that. Oh, we don't have, okay. So uh, basically, Go to Telegram Messenger, get the app, download it, and get on my channel and stay informed, okay? Well, thank you. God bless you. And shalom from Southern California. And if you're coming to the Futures Conference, see you in just about an hour. God bless you.